getting started with a student account on Quizlet for flashcards. Hey, welcome to Being Classy, my name's Peter. Today I wanna to take a look at Quizlet.com, how you can get signed up as a student for free and start creating flashcards that you can study with, share with friends, and potentially even open on different devices to study wherever you are. You can download a free reference guide on getting started with Quizlet for students by clicking the link in the description below. Also in the description, you can find a link to our other video we did on flashcards that broke down different ways you can use flashcards to help with more than just memorizing by breaking down categories and using physical space. So check that video out as well. Let's dive in and see what it looks like to sign up for Quizlet. So you go to quizlet.com, this is the homepage, and I'm just gonna go through it as though I've never signed up before and sign us up as a student. Top right corner, you click sign up. Go ahead and fill in this information. You'll notice based on your birthday, it will ask for either your email or your parents' email. So if you are a student or a student age, then it'll ask for your parents' email, username, and password. Again, this is a free account for students. You can click sign up on the bottom, and there you go, you're logged in. So now if you look right in the center of the screen, you'll see a greenish blue button that says create a set. If you click on that, it shows you can use any subject, any topic, and take it anywhere. That's one of the features that I think is really nice with Quizlet is if you have the opportunity to use a different device, an iPad, a phone, you can work wherever you are whenever it's convenient. So even if you just have 10 minutes on the bus or riding in the car, you can pull up your flashcard set even if you don't have physical flashcards or physical study materials with you. That's a really cool digital benefit to this system. So you go ahead and click create a study set. Now you can enter a title for your study set. So we'll just say this is English Vocabulary Section 1. And if you need to, you can add a description. I'll just put test for now. There's lots of different ways you can import study sets into Quizlet. That's a more advanced feature that I'm not going to cover now. But if you scroll down, this is the most simple way to just start creating flashcards the same way you would if you were just gonna write them out on a note card. On the left-hand side of the screen, you see it says enter term, and you can just start entering your vocabulary words. So let's say one of our vocabulary words was tree. I start typing in my definition, you might actually see a definition similar or the same to what you're working with pop up. So in this case, I was gonna type a woody perennial plant so I can choose that, that'll preload into my system. Just be careful if you're gonna use this feature that you don't click a definition that's different than what your class or your teacher gave you to study because some things could vary just slightly. So make sure you have the correct definition and then you can just keep going down and putting in your vocabulary words. So let's say I finished my set of English vocabulary section one and you go in the top right corner and you can click create. Now, here we are. We are using our flashcards. So instead of having a physical stack of note cards in front of me, you have them on your computer. You can read the word and you can click it. It'll flip over and show you the other side. You can also use them in reverse and you can go back and forth to all your other flashcards. You can create infinite flashcard sets, share them with students, and load them on any device that you want. Really helpful tool for teachers and students to help memorize content. Again, to go more in depth on how to use flashcards for memory and connecting ideas, go to the description below to find a link to our other video on flashcards where we talk about using color coding and spatial recognition to help connect ideas and increase memory. Again, you can download a free and printable quick reference guide on getting started with Quizlet for students and parents by clicking the link in the description below. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, please press the like button, share it with anybody else who could benefit from it. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our new content, and we'll see you in the next video.